Hey everyone, Hans here today with yet another quick video. Today we're doing a live build, which is always pretty exciting because, well, a lot of things can go wrong, but shouldn't. But it is a pretty cool thing that I'm building today. It's a post that I posted, um, well, depending on when you're watching this, but at the time of recording, posted it yesterday about um, one of the best performing audiences that I've seen um, since, you know, doing cold email, which is the uh, competitor plus intent audience where you're um, uh, finding competitors on LinkedIn that are actively posting. Then you scrape the people who interact with that post and you enrich them and then reach out to them because you know that they're very likely to, to be going, going to be, there we go, going to be interested in what you have to say. That's what we're building today using Phantom Buster and a little bit of clay. And um, yeah, it's always excited to do uh, to dive in. So let's do it. This is the post I was talking about. So one of the best performing audiences I've seen where you find competitors and you grab their LinkedIn following. <clears throat> and then some people, they ask me, how do you do that? Um, how can you set and repeat to do it daily, et cetera, et cetera. So this is how I do it. Um, I wanted to build it. But I figured, you know what, I should build out live and then record myself building it. And then this would hope will hopefully be helpful for some. So I actually signed up for a new Phantom Buster account. I haven't used it for a for a while. Um, because now we have different ways of getting audiences like that. Um and you know, I can I can get into that later. But um uh, there are like as with everything, there are multiple ways of building an audience. This is the way I used to do it, and I think is for most people the most efficient, most effective way of doing it. So basically, you go to the activity scraper. Let me find that for you. LinkedIn activity extractor. So you want to use this one. And then basically what you want to do is you want to have a new sheet that you call uh, influencers, for example. And then this is the URL. And then you want to have some um some people in there i'm just going to grab random people here so sergi you have been chosen and then let's see mark coleman and mark bryant why not let's see so going in here hopefully actually these people are posting frequently because otherwise so sergi going in there and then mr mark going in there all right so that is our sheet then um, we want to give that sheet to Phantom Buster. So we want to share this and then anyone with the link can view that should work. Then that goes in here. Now there are different sources you can use. Um, just you know, go with this. Then we want to connect to LinkedIn. So in a different screen, well, let me show you how to grab your code. That there are, um, I actually have, look at that. I have their, um, their Chrome extension, so let me use that one. Otherwise, if you don't have want to, for whatever reason, use that, you go to inspect, and then you go to, um, let me see, application, then under cookies, you find LinkedIn, you identify ly underscore at, so ly underscore at, this one, and that is the one that you copy and paste into, um, into here. But for now, they have this neat little button. Look at that, that worked. There we go. Then, um, you know, sure this works depending on how many profiles you have in there, you know, uh, just you update these settings. Um, now you don't want to get the comments. So the comments would be whatever this person is commenting on other people that post. Now there's a use case for that. You could say, okay, if there's an SDR at my competitor, I want to see which um articles they they comment on that are posted by my icp because chances are they are existing clients or they're going after these people and just you know buttering them up so there's a use case for getting the comments but you're going with posts in this case uh, i can do another video on the other one if you people want that then number of items short 20 works if you set this daily then um you know just go with five no one's posting more than five times per day right um then there we go uh actually they have this watch remote which is pretty neat and that's that then you just set that up to launch repeatedly to for example launch once per day then let's run this for now and then 
um, we get their activity, then here under LinkedIn, we want to do, let me see, where is it? There we go. LinkedIn post commenters export. I want to use that one. Again, you can paste your excuse me, cookie there or use the button, then um, post URL. Uh, so that should be um, the thing that Phantom Buster gives you. So let's give it a second to finish the other one and we can use that one as the as the source. Let's see what the status is of the other one. There we go. Let's see. So this one finished the um, LinkedIn activity extractor finished. So there we go back in here, then post to process. They have, um, so the update is you used to be able to grab the URL from the other one. Now they honestly made it easier. So you just link the phantoms together. No need to update this. So we will empty, empty. We'll try and get all of them. That should be pretty safe. So you can set up watcher mode where um, the thing is that, you know, imagine they posted something a couple of hours ago. You may not get all the comments. Depend like do it. you could set that up and it should be all right. Just set it up in a way that only gets like the latest couple of posts and then watch your mode. Because if you get all of their posts all of the time, then at some point your data set is going to be too big. So if you leave this empty and you have this on, make sure that in the first, you know, the uh, the first one that we set up that you just get their latest one or two posts, for example. I'll leave it off for now. That's that. Then you want to launch this um, repeatedly or after the Phantom probably works best. So yeah, after that one is finished. So that's that. So once this one is finished, this one will run. Um, and actually, let me jump into setup real quick. Launch settings. Um, and then let me, there we go. Um, so we launched that one. I said to launch once. Let me just change the setup real quick. There we go. Um, so that's that. There we go. Um, launched it manually, but now going forward, when this one is finished, this one will launch. And then you get the results from that one. And I don't know how long it's going to take. But either way, let's dive into Clay because that's where we want the results. Actually, they have a, an integration with Phantom Buster, which is really, really helpful. So let's see. Once, so once that is finished, you can pull that in from, um, from Phantom Buster. Then you get the LinkedIn profile, et cetera. And then it really is just a matter of filtering for your ICP and LinkedIn post commenters export. Yeah, that's the one that we want. Um, during the latest, nope. Um, there we go. All right. So here are the records. They're not that many because these aren't, uh, with all due respect, they're not really super big influencers. Um, as in, they don't get a ton of comments on their post. Well, actually I can close this, close that and then just go to here and just go to the original post probably there we go so there's one comment we got it that's great then um you can also like there are ways you can set it up to get all their comments which is what we did now so whenever someone interacts with them we just check okay does that person fit our icp yes or no great reach out to them um or you can set it up in a way that you only, and for that, you could, for example, use LinkedIn search where you would say, um, I don't know, whenever there's a post about cold email, there we go. So basically you would just scrape this search result every day. So whenever there's a new post about cold email, get whoever posted that, um, that could be someone you could reach out to, but usually it's maybe the influencer or whatever and then um, get all the commenters because those are people interested in cold email and you do the same thing, right? And then maybe sort it by the latest just to not scrape all the um, uh, all the same posts over and over again. So that's another way you can do this. So your starting point is either influences or keywords, same idea. Then you come in here, then um, we wanna get the, let's say the full name then you know maybe occupation that's a big job title um profile link so they get that profile link which is kind of you know not ideal but it is what it is 
and then let me do it then here i'm actually curious if clay can enrich that one i haven't tried that in a while so there's that we have the um the job title or let's say the the main headline of these people we have their full name then we have this format linkedin url i will see if um if clay can enrich that if not then no issue we can still find their their regular linkedin profile do a quick google search for example and then enrich their regular linkedin profile um with emails that's a little bit outside the scope of this post let me just try real quick to do a linkedin enrichment all right so that works so it actually can work with the um with that former linkedin euro which is perfect then you have this person you have well all the information you would need about them um including uh company information so from there you can obviously go to email or reach out to them on LinkedIn, but you know, we're LinkedIn people, uh, we're email people. So we want to, uh, reach out to these people on LinkedIn. So I have company name right there. And that's that from, you know, experience, you get the company domain and you find their emails and, um, you obviously want to um, do some filtering with ICP. I would do that from here. So you check. Is that company, is that job title, you know, does that fit, um, uh, you know, who we're usually reaching out to? If that's a yes, great, add to Smart Lead or HubSpot or wherever you want to add these leads. And um, that's that. So this is set on repeat again. Uh, so this one, the LinkedIn activity extractor goes into here every day and gets the latest posts from these people, then gets the people who commented on those posts and um that puts them into clay where we enrich them we filter for icp and we add them to our campaigns that's how you set up the uh, competitor plus intent audience and if you want to make it even higher intent you can do a keyword filter say okay only if the original post contains this or that keyword then i want to actually you know enrich them and get them etc Bunch of layers you can add on top of it. Again, um, sort of outside the scope of this post. This is the basic setup. And after that, you're limited by your own creativity. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, either way, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good weekend if you're watching this on Friday. And um, again, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.